In this video, I will be explaining how to use Microsoft Excel for a linear regression. I'm using, using the fish catch data, which I downloaded from the Journal of Statistics Education um, data archive. And all of these fish were caught from a lake in Finland in 1917. And we have their weight in grams and their length in centimeters for each fish. So if I wanted to do, so I'm interested in whether the weight is a good predictor of the length. So in this example, I'm going to be using weight as the predictor variable and length as the response variable. Or another way of thinking about it is weight as the independent variable and length as the dependent variable. So um, first I wanna visualize the data and to do this, I'm simply gonna select all of these data for the fish and I am going to insert a scatter plot just like this. And you can kind of see that um, there's, a, it kind of looks like the data are correlated, that the bigger the weight, the longer the length. Um, so I want to add to this some data labels or some axis labels. So uh, for my primary horizontal, this is going to be weight in grams. And for the primary vertical, this is going to be length in centimeters. And then I can get rid of this title above the graph. So another thing we might want to add to this graph is a regression line. So we can go to trend line and just choose a linear. Let me go into more options. And what I want is the linear, and I also would like to have the equation displayed, displayed on the chart, and I'd also like to see the r-squared value. And then I can close that. And just to see these, we'll move them a little ways away from the graph. And so now we see the regression line shown as a dotted line, and we see the equation of the line and the r-squared value. And an R-squared value of 0.92 is a pretty high, pretty um, high R-squared. If we want to know um, statistically, if we want to find a p-value for these data, then what we need to do is do a regression analysis. And so to do a regression analysis, we'll go into the data tab and we will choose the data analysis and we will choose regression. So I'll click OK here. Then I get this input box. And so I want to um, put in my Y range and my X range. So to select my Y range, I'm going to click on this arrow. And th these are my Y data. I already selected them earlier, which is why it automatically knew what I wanted. And then for my X range, I want to choose the weight. And then I do have labels in the top row, so I'll leave that check there. I want, uh, want my, I want to change where my output is going to be. I want it to be on this same spreadsheet, um, but I don't want it to cover up my graph. So we will put the output over here. We'll start in 02. And um, I think that's all we need to put in. And so we will go ahead and click OK. Then we get a regression output. It starts with a summary output. And the main thing we're really interested in down here is we're interested in our p-value. And we want the p-value of the regression, which is 5.79 times 10 to the minus 20th, a very low p-value. You can also compare the r-square value with what is printed on our graph. And this is how we use Excel.